Uh, what's up, baby guy? So I got this question that I keep having. Um, I have a question. If one hears the gospel and does not learn how to repent for a long time, will God is drunk? Will God is drawing them and convicting, and they are stuck in willful? Well, you're look. I don't know what you. I a willful sin. Will God eventually give them up, even unto even though it was not their fault? Or if they hear the gospel and keep forgetting and they are stuck in willful sin, like if they have not heard how to get saved, um, that, that much will God draw, is drawing them how to get saved, like how to get saved will God be drawing them Will God give them up to reprobated mind? I think, I think that's what He's doing. He has done to, sorry, has done to me. Um, have uh, so let's go back a little bit. I have, I have a question. Uh, if if one hear if one hears the gospel, it does not. Learn how to repent for a long time. Um, repentance means turning away, putting or like putting away or turning it down, and putting it like, you know, it means like putting away like and don't do it anymore. Um, what else? Uh, for a long time. I mean, God does give you the grace, and hopefully that you would repent um, and conviction, and stay. And they are stuck in willful sin. Will God eventually give them up? Um, I believe. Well, I believe that the Lord will give you time to repent um, before you. If something else would have happened to you, um, just call. Just call on God and hopefully um, to help you with uh, either like fasting or you know just don't eat any food or water or it could be the internet or something that's you know feeding your flesh. Um, yeah, staying stuck for willfully willful sin, and it's not your fault. Well, it is a choice. I mean, committing a sin is a is a personal choice. Um, saying that it's not your fault, uh, I don't know much about that. But committing a sin is a personal choice, unless you're unless there's something in your life that is convincing you or persuading you. Uh, into sin. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Does God give you over to the reprobated mind? Uh, if you don't believe in his gospel. And to believe in his son. Um. Hold on, let's let's look it up. Hold on. Uh, reprobate. Let's, I don't know if that's spelled right. But uh, an unprincipled person, often used humorly or affectionately. A uh, rogue, rascal, scoundrel, good for nothing, villain, wrench, Calvinism, a sinner who's not of the elect, and. I don't know, Protestant of Protestant to damnation. Hmm. Or unprincipled or unlearning. Um have you been accepting Christ's truths or the Bible's true? Like I don't really understand your whole question per se. But um he expresses his reverberated his method of proceeding. Hmm. Yes, just like repent and turn away from the woeful sin that you have. It is a personal choice to commit a sin. So, um, yeah, just give your life to God and surrender your life to uh, Christ. So, yeah. Hope it helps. Uh, so this is your man Joe. See you guys in another video. So, okay? Alright.